Get these tools ready. Align the motor with the positioning frame on the front casing. Attach the motor to the front casing. Use the plastic tweezers to secure it in place. Insert the subboard under the metal clips at the angle as shown. Align the subboard with the two positioning rods on the front casing. Insert the subboard under the lower clip and secure it in place. Align the headset jack with the positioning slot on the front casing. Use the pipette to take the receiver. Attach the receiver to the front casing as shown. Bend the rear camera upwards. Align the camera with the limit bar on the front casing and secure it in place. Insert the main board under the right clip on the front casing at an angle. Align the main board with the positioning rod in the upper right corner and then the one in the lower left corner. Snap the left clip shut. Attach the front camera to the front casing. Fasten the front and rear camera B2B connectors. Connect the coaxial cable to the subboard and then to the mainboard. Use the plastic tweezers to line the cable along the cable slot. Fasten the headset jack B2B, speaker B2B, main FPC B2B, LCD B2B, and battery B2B. Fasten the main FPC plate, battery B2B plate, rear camera plate, and LCD B2B plate in the correct direction as shown. Use the Phillips screwdriver to tighten the 10 screws on the main board.
Attach the warranty label to the screw as shown. Fasten the side button B2B. Install the battery casing as shown. Fasten the fingerprint sensor B2B to the main board. Insert the top of the front casing under the clip on the rear casing as shown. Snap the front and rear casings shut. Use the pentagon screwdriver to tighten the two screws at the bottom. Insert the card tray into the card slot. Assembly complete.